Good God morning. Good God morning. Good God morning. I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. You ever wake up with just a smile? <laughs> just happy to be alive. Mm. And breathe. Oh, I am so happy. Just because. No special reason. Just because. Just because. Just because I can breathe. Just because I can see. Just because I feel fabulous. Just because I am happy. Just happy. God is amazing. You know, I remember. Oh, let me introduce myself. For those who know me, I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. And that alone makes me happy. Just saying that makes me feel good. I don't know what that is. But I remember when I first started doing a number of things or reading a number of things. You know, I I used to read, get up in the morning and cut the minister's channel on, starting with uh, Joyce Myers and then going to Creflo Dollar. And then from there, I'd go to Prince or uh, De, 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 um, Dupree. You ever, you ever listen to, I can't remember his first name. His last name is Dupree. He's a Southern minister who is so amazing. And I think he was one of those people that brought me into the confidence that God always provides. Because he used to tell stories about how he would want something and it would show up. He told a story about one day that he was going to preach at a friend's church. And in the process of getting to the church, he saw this fabulous 1950 car in perfect condition drive past him. And he said, you know, that's the car I want. I, I want one of those. That is a, such an amazing car. So he went on to his friend's church. And after the service, his friend came up to him and said, you know, Jesse, that's his name, Jesse Dupree. He said, Jesse, you did a fabulous job. He said, in the process, um, God told me to give you this. And he gave him a set of car keys. He said, this is my car. And God said to give it to you. And guess what? It was the exact car that Jesse had passed on his way to the church. The, he has a ministry that is totally paid for, if I ever get an opportunity. I think he's in New Orleans, some part of some part of Louisiana. That, it's not New Orleans, but some part of New Louisiana. If I ever get a chance, I actually met him at a conference here. I wasn't at the conference. I was at another conference at the Marriott a couple of years ago. And Dan and I, Dan was coming to pick me up. And we were sitting in the lobby, and Jesse Dupree was sitting right beside me. I was so amazed. And of course, you know me, I introduced myself. And he blessed me. And he talked to me and prayed over me. I was like, whoa, this is amazing. And you know, that brings me to the story or to the reason why we're here. You know, God desires us to be happy. And in my process, um, I remember asking God, how do I know I'm listening to you? How do I know that I'm hearing you, God, and not me or not crazy thoughts? And um, that particular day, everything I heard, everywhere I went, I heard an example of what I had read. Hey, Hey, Pastor Darrell, how are you? 
great to have you. Hey, Tana, what's up? So, um, I was saying that everything I hear from here on, from now, everything I read in the morning, it all connects. Seeing the connection of me and what I, what message God has for me is always reiterated in my process of moving around the world. You know, being able to see miracles or hear the word everywhere you go. And it's funny because being strange, if someone had told me when I was in college or 20s, in my 20s, that I would be the person that I am now, where everything kind of fits and everything does exactly what it's supposed to do and I allow it to happen, I would have never believed them. You know, I was a person of the world, as we all were. You know, we partying and drinking and having a good time. Never really focusing on the God within. As we are within, so it shows up without. Everything around us reflects who we are. Things that happen to us reflect what's inside of us. All those angst and anxieties, all those uh, thoughts that everyone else has that we accept as being true until we realize that there's a change, there's something deeper, there's another law that's in effect. God's laws are always in effect. And when we start to flow with life, things get better. We feel better. Even in sickness, even in health, we feel better. That's just the way it is. And it is so amazing. I can see the angels and the archangels clapping out their hands if they had hands. Because <laughs> they're spirit. You know, just edifying and helping us more once we come into the consciousness that there's something deeper. There's something better, something greater that we are here to do or be, and we have to walk with God, command the universe to show up in joy and happiness, in giving us un, un, grace and mercy, and I, you know, I just smile because I'm expanding. And prayfully, everyone else is expanding, allowing themselves to expand. No matter how the world shows up, it is up to us to walk in grace, walk in miracles, be the God on earth. My girlfriend, Janine Ann Ingram, always says, God don't need our help. He just needs our permission. He, we don't have to make anything happen. He just needs our permission to let it come, to accept it and be who we are. That's an amazing awareness, a aha moment, as they say, right? So let us pray. Hey, Daria. Hey, Darrell, how are you? God is amazing. I am grateful that you are here. Holy Father God, we are grateful for you. This morning we smile in your ray of sunshine and happiness. We accept nothing but you, God. We get out of this world. We do what we do in you, Father God. We are grateful that you have empowered us to be that spirit, that physical, spiritual being here on earth. We command the world to show up in joy and happiness. People to reflect you, God. And even if they don't, even if they're in their human aspect, we love them anyway. We bless them and we keep them in you. Even if they don't recognize how powerful 
you have created us to be. We are grateful just to move forward with you, knowing that you will provide all things, correct all situations, make everything happen for the good of ourselves and everyone else. We are open to flow in your godliness. Ooh, we are grateful. We bless everyone to come into the spirit of you, to relax, to rest, and move forward in the world. We may be the only light that another person can connect to. So we're open and we're willing to flow in the spirit of you. Hashem. Yes, it will be a miraculous month. I am so grateful for that. Hey, Joy. Grateful, grateful. So this morning, I woke up. Of course, I'm here, right? <laughs> I had to wake up in order to be here, right? But I pulled um, some things I want to share with you. Today is May 1st. First, this is um, meditation month. As as. Deepak and Oprah reminded me this morning. National Meditation Day or month of May. So get into your meditation. Take a quiet space and try to focus in a third eye and just be still. Remember, the Course in Miracles says there is no situation that is not that is not already solved. For every situation, there is a solution. It's already there. And you find it in the quietness of your spirit. God speaks to you. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to cry about it. All you have to do is say thank you. The greatest prayer, the greatest form of adoration is just to say thank you, God. Thank you, God. I remember being... um sick and and when i mean really in the hospital and all i could say was thank you god and sometimes thank you god will take you through a situation quicker than anything else see i realize i don't have to do a thing but rest in god and he'll do the work he'll fix relationships he'll fix your finances he'll he'll heal your body all I have to do is be open. There may be a little action that I have to do. I may have to do some herbs or go to the doctor. But God, creator, source, is so powerful. So this morning I woke up and I have a, a calendar and I post this pretty much every day. From Mary Ann Williams, who is a teacher in The Course of Miracles. Today she says, there is nothing in the world that truly gives us peace. There is nothing in the world that truly gives us peace. For peace lies in our transit, trans, transcendence, transcendence, that's it, transcendence of this world. So we have to read, we have to go above this, beyond the world. We can't see it as the truth. We have to go beyond it. We have to transcend it. For most fervent wish, our most fervent wish is for the peace of God. Ooh, God bumps, God bumps. And that's God's wish. We wish for the peace of God. To surround us in every situation. In every situation. Oh, and then I pulled the Course in Miracles card. I have a whole stack of them. And usually I pull one just to see. So I just picked up the one. And it says right on the top. I didn't shuffle them or anything. I just picked it up. No evidence will convince you of the truth of what you don't want. Mm -hmm. No evidence will convince you of the truth 
of what you want. There is no evidence. You have to ask for evidence. You have to ask for change. Because we see it. Remember, we see with the, with um, our physical eyes, the five senses. And once we move out of the five senses and into the spirit of God, things change. Things change. Things change and brings joy and peace in in every situation. We move out of that chaotic feeling inside of us and into the resting arms of God. And spirit does the work. What I think that we really have to do is just be accepting of it. You ready? Share this out. Someone needs, someone desires change. And if you don't show, if you don't show up offering change, folks will never change. That's the one thing that I realized too. The people that God wants you to speak to will also show up. We just have to rest in God. So today's lesson, of course, we're in the review, right? And we're on lesson, open our hearts, God, open our minds. And it's very short. It is a very short lesson. Hey, Richard, how are you? How's that book coming? I, oh, Sharon, how are you? It's good to see you, Tina. I'm always pleased. I thank you. Uh, We're in the review. Of the lessons that we have done from um, 91. So now we're in lessons, not review of lessons 93 and 94. We do two lessons a day. The, the course asks that you do one, one, um, let one idea on the hour and one on the half hour. Or you can do it one in the morning, or both of them in the morning, and both of them at night. It doesn't really matter. The more you do them, the more they are ingrained in your spirit, in your mind. So that when something shows up not feeling so good, you'll have a thought, an idea, a commitment that can change it. That's what the Course in Miracles is. It is to be able to see something and feel and change something totally different. Changing that pathway of our minds to the peace of God. So lesson 93 for morning and evening review. And say this or close your eyes and listen as I say the statement. Light and joy and peace abide in me. Ooh. Light and joy and peace abide in me. Somebody type that in the chat. Life and joy and peace abide in me. And pray. Chaos arrives. You say, oh, that's all right because. Light and joy and peace abide in me. I am the home of light and joy and peace. I welcome them into my home. I share with God because I am a part of him. Ooh, that is out. Isn't that great? Ooh, light and joy abide in me. Light and joy and peace. Abide in me. You might even want to say light and joy and peace and love abide in me. Any form of that will work. You'll change your whole aura and remove yourself and transcend whatever's going on or whatever's going awry. Light and joy and peace abide in I am the home of God. Ooh, yes. 
Yes, yes. Okay, so now, lesson 94 says, I am as God created me. We've talked about that. I am who I am. I am as God created me. Hey, Val. Valerie, how are you? I am as God created me. For those who have just showed up, we are a review. To take that whole, these all these lessons that we have learned, we are repeating them and reviewing them so that they can be a part of us. So that we, we can call on these thoughts, these ideas, when stuff goes awry instantly. And your instant might be, you still, might be a minute, might be two, three days. It may even be a month, but you ask for it and it shows up. It takes you out of chaos. So lesson 94. I am as God created me. I will remain forever as I was. Created by the changeless likeness of himself. And I am one with him. And he with me. I am as God. So, let's review once more, and someone can type it in the chat. I don't think I can. It says, on the hour you say, light and joy and peace abide in me. And on the half hour you say, I am as God created me. So, let's close our eyes. Let's feel it from the heart as I say this. And you can say them together. It does not it is no one set way. Use them when you need them. Hey, Eric, how are you? Great, grateful that you showed up. So repeat. Get quiet. Breathe. And say, light and joy and peace abide in me. I am as God. Created me. And breathe. Mm. Ashe. Good morning, my brother. Oh, thank you, Deacon. How are you? I, I bless you. I bless you. Awesome. My pastor used to say, when well, folks are coming up in your space all negative, and just bless them in your mind. I now bless you and release you. You don't have to argue your point. You don't have to debate with them. You don't have to do any of that. Just breathe and bless them and let them be. Everybody's on their own journey, and they arrive and become aware in their own time. And you just let it go. So now, remember I said that I picked three spaces or three statements today. I don't know why I picked three. Because I actually have like four or five different kinds of sets of cards from everybody. I talked about Marianne Williams' statement and I will post that. I talked about the Course in Miracles. Both of those are related to the Course in Miracles. There is no evidence of things that you don't want. I don't know if that's really true. Because the evidence is on the outside. If there's chaos going on in your outer world, guess what? There's chaos going on inside of you. So rest in God. But it is what it is. And Marianne Williams said that you have to transcend the world in order to receive the peace of God. You have to rise your consciousness, raise your consciousness. So now, let's look at um, Esther Hicks, right? You remember es e Esther Hicks? She actually channels a spirit. And she's on YouTube, too. So is Marianne. So is The Course in Miracles. Hey, Angelo, how are you? Thank you for joining. So I'm going to read from this card. This is a nice set from Esther and 
Abraham Hicks, right? So it says, whatever you give attention to, wanted or unwanted, I am creating. Consciously, becoming consciously aware of what you're thinking or focusing on. And so on the back of the card, she gives you more information. And it says, you were born with a magnificent emotional guidance system that lets you know in every moment exactly what your vibrational content is, which is being matched by the law of attention. I'm going to tell you in a minute, Tana. As it is your desire to feel good and your practice to choose good feeling thoughts, only good things will come to you. So when you think good thoughts, good things show up. If you're fussing and arguing, and it's all right to fuss and argue with God. It's all right. He was probably just, if he had a face, he's probably laughing his head off and saying to himself, if you just rest in me, child, if you just rest in me, that is, that's all I ask. Um, okay, so let me ask some questions. Hey, Patricia, how are you this morning? Tana asked me, where did I get all this stuff? I really don't know. I think um, when I started looking for more, they started showing up. You may get them probably on Amazon, but I think I started at, um, what's the lady who made You Can Heal? Oh, she just recently passed. Let me think about it. But you can probably get them on Amazon. The Esther, Esther and Abraham Hicks cards. They're probably on Amazon because everybody sells everything on Amazon. And Marianne Williams' book is called The Calendar. Just to let you know. I just, these, you know, when, they, when I ask God for stuff, it just shows up. And he also shows up with the money to pay for. Oh, it's um, Marianne. Can you see that? It is a year to a year of daily wisdom. A perpetual flip calendar used year after year. Marianne Williamson. You know she's running for president. That's amazing. But, um, <laughs> Tana just left me, y'all. He stayed here for well, almost a week. We had a great time. Yeah, I do have a lot of a lot of hidden treasures in my house. But today, I just decided to share some of them with you. I am Rosa J doing it God's way. And guess what, y'all? My I am affirmations for the living book is on Kindle. So now you don't have to just buy my book. You can actually go to Kindle and download it if you don't want a physical book. So I just downloaded it. I was so pleased to see that. So my book is now on Kindle. Thank you, Tana, for insisting that I do that yesterday. He insisted that I complete my Kindle, and it's there. So if you want it, Go there, or you can go to the I Am Affirmation page on Facebook. Thank you, Doria. And, uh, and buy it. I am just so grateful. So now the next thing, what am I going to do next? I am actually going to put my I Am Affirmation on cards like these. Small like these. Like these kinds of cards, so that um, it can, you can pull one and see what spirit has to say to you for that day. That's my next venture using my book. So I am grateful and I pray and I bless you and I 
say that there is no other way for you to go through this day except for other than resting in God. I am Rosa J doing it God's way each and every day. Blessing, peace, and joy. Remember, light and joy and peace abide in me. I am as God created me. Namaste. I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you later on this afternoon because I desire to help you and assist you in that entrepreneur state of mind. Blessing.